When I became a Christian in 1980, I was counseled to read my Bible and spend time before the Lord in prayer if I wanted to grow my faith. My hunger to become more like Jesus was just another task that I added to a very long list of things to do each and every day. I was a husband, father of two middle school kids and working full time in the nuclear industry. I was also a soccer coach, soccer referee and soccer instructor, leader for my church's high school youth group, school board member, and a full-time student at a local community college. As I look back on that time, God made a way to meet me where I was. I was just too busy with worldly tasks to spend time with him. So he came to me in dreams and occasionally would wake me in the very early hours of the morning. When this would happen, I'd go downstairs, put on Christian music, sit in the dark in the high back chair in my office, and let the music take me into worship. Sometimes, though, I wondered, is this really you, Lord, or is this just me wanting it to be you? The times we spent together always left me with a calm and a deep sense of well-being. I looked forward to them, but I was never sure when the next one would happen. I was just too busy to make time for him. Then one evening came when I was exhausted from the week's work, the research project wasn't going well, and every decision took me in the wrong direction. I had worked many overtime hours with no progress, and I was tired, discouraged, and I needed rest. The next day was Saturday and I slid into bed. I thought I could sleep in tomorrow and that brought me relief and it brought me joy. Awake at 2 a.m. I think, no, Lord, I'm too tired. I need rest. I toss and I turn, but soon realize I'm awake. Anger rises within me. Down the stairs I go. Close the office door, into my chair, in the dark, no music, no filter on my tongue, and I say in a harsh voice, what? What is so important that it couldn't wait until eight or nine? What is so important that it has to be now? What? A calm, firm voice comes into my thoughts. But Earl, this is the only time I have your full attention. And I recognize the voice and all my doubts are gone. And then I miss you and I miss our time together. As a follower of Jesus, can you relate to the busyness that keeps you from him? This week, instead of reading your Bible for quantity, aim for quality. Read a small passage of scripture, meditate on it, and then open up a dialogue with our Heavenly Father. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.